Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Diraksha Mantri Shri Rajnath Singh will visit Nigeria between 28th to 30th of May 2023 to attend the swearing in ceremony of President elect of West African nation Mr Bola Ahmed Tinubu. This will be the first ever visit of an Indian defense minister to Nigeria. The Raksha Mantri's visit will be an important landmark in building strong bond of friendship between two nations considering the growing defense cooperation between India and Nigeria. The senior officers of Ministry of Defense and top leadership of important defense PSU will accompany Shri Rajnath Singh. They will hold meeting with representatives from Nigerian industry and the armed forces to identify the equipment and platforms through which the Indian defense industry can support the country's requirements. In last few years, Nigeria has moved closer towards the geopolitical rivals of India such as Turkey, Pakistan and China. In 2022, Nigeria signed a deal for six Turkish TAI T-129 attack helicopters setting aside Indian light combat helicopter. Nigeria also operates JF-17 and other Chinese assets. So during the visit, India will be looking to reset ties and offer its indigenously designed and developed weapons and the most prominent ones which are making headlines are Tata LS-50 and Nagastr-1 lottery munitions by Solar Group. These two lottery munitions are also being inducted into Indian Armed Forces. Indian Air Force is in process of inducting 100 LS-50 lottery munition and Indian Army is inducting 450 Nagastr-1 lottery munitions. Talking about Nagastr-1, it has more than 80% of indigenous content and can carry 1.5 kg of warhead to a range of 15 km. It has endurance of 60 minutes and accuracy of less than 2 meters. It can be launched from a hand or a ground-based launcher. The target details can be fed manually or it can be automatically acquired. It can destroy a target area of 10 meter by 10 meter of radius. It has overall weight of 20 kg. The ALS-50 is an indigenously designed, developed and manufactured lottery munition for advanced warfare, useful for the armed forces of India in both surveillance and combat scenarios. ALS can be equipped with different types of warheads as per the operational requirement. It can even feed the live video by a chin-mounted EOIR sensor. The EOIR camera with its precise targeting algorithm and live feed allows the user to guide the munition as required. It has a length of 2.4 meter, wingspan of 3.8 meter and maximum takeoff weight of 50 kg. It can take off like a quadcopter and transition into fixed wing mode during flight for long distance travel. It is capable of launching missions up to a distance of 50 km and can perform real-time targeting either by operator or autonomously. The lottery munition has endurance of more than an hour. It can be launched from an altitude of 400 m from mean sea level. It can carry a range of anti-personal, anti-armor warhead weighing up to 6 kg including EFP warhead. The accuracy of the system has been tested to be less than 2 meters and adequate to carry out the precise strikes. In case the mission has to be aborted, it can also be recovered given its VTOL capability. It uses battery powered electric motors which makes it a silent killer. It can also operate in GPS denied environment. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.